Hey, this is Pete from Horizon Hobby Product Support here with the Blade Vortex 150 from Horizon Hobby and Immersion RC. Uh, we wanted to give a brief tutorial on initial setup out of the box as well as give you a brief teardown on it, show you the inner components and how to repair it if necessary. Uh, the first thing that you would want to do uh, before even opening the package on the aircraft is to uh, grab your Spectrum compatible transmitter and do some programming on it. So we would start with a fresh model memory. Uh, we would go into our channel assign and our channel input config and set a three position switch for our uh, fifth channel. Uh, after that, we can go into the servo setup and uh, set our travels for aileron, elevator, and throttle. We're going to set those to 150 in both directions, and then we'll set the rudder for 144 in both directions. That helps enter the OSD a little bit easier. And finally, reverse the aileron and rudder channels. All right, so here we have everything that we're gonna to need to set up the Vortex 150 for the first time. So uh, out of the box, you'll have your circular polarized antenna. That's the first thing that we wanna install. We don't wanna power on the aircraft without this installed. We could possibly damage the video transmitter. Uh, we're gonna power on the aircraft. We're gonna leave the transmitter uh, powered off. We've already set it to the correct model memory. We have it programmed correctly, so we can just leave it powered off for now. Um, you'll notice your Vortex 150 is gonna come with an XT30 connector. We didn't have any XT30 batteries or connectors available, so we're not going to let that keep us from flying and having fun. So we went ahead and switched this over to the Horizon Hobby Favorite, the EC3 connector. It works just fine. Um, you may want to secure the battery. You really don't have to at the moment, and we'll go ahead and apply power to the Vortex. All right, and in your goggles or uh, in your video screen, whatever you're using, you want to jump into there and you'll see that the system is detecting the receiver. So at this time, uh, we should, after a few seconds, we should have a rapidly flashing light out of the back of the Vortex 150. You can just barely see it right back here. That's gonna be your SPM 4648 race receiver in bind mode automatically. Um, it, so what the Vortex is doing right now, if you look in your video screen, you'll see that it's searching the different channels trying to find your receiver. It's not gonna find it until we bind to it. So we'll go ahead and do that now. We usually wanna step about six to eight feet away from the aircraft when we're binding to it. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start that process here. Once the bind process completes and the transmitter setup wizard detects the spectrum receiver, it should tell us to center our controls. Uh, and when once our controls are centered and it picks up, uh, right here, uh, then it'll give us some prompts on the screen. It'll tell us to move our sticks in certain orientations so it can record some data on the uh, transmitter type. So you'll see you all control to the left and right and center. Uh, different controls left, right, and center, uh, and it detects everything. Once it gets all these inputs, the transmitter setup wizard will complete, and we'll get a cool tune that'll let us know that it is complete, and we are ready to fly the aircraft. Uh, pretty cool. So, right stick back and hold, controls back to neutral. All right, and we're finished. I'm sure you guys have heard that song before, pretty cool. Um, so now you're ready to fly, you can put props on it and go out and have a blast with it. Uh, right stick down to the right arms it, right stick down to the left disarms it, and also enters the OSD. Uh, this is our setup menu where we can use the right stick to uh, change our channels, change our LED setup, uh, go into our OSD and you know customize it the way that we want it. All right, and now we can show you guys a, a brief teardown of the aircraft. It's uh, pretty simple. There's going to be eight screws across the top that you'll need to remove. We'll go ahead and do that. All right, and once you have those eight screws removed, the top plate will just pop right off of the aircraft. All right. 
And now with the top plate off, you can see our Spectrum Serial Race Receiver with auto bind here, our uh, Synergy Flight Controller, and Tramp Variable Power Video Transmitter all in one uh, right here. Um, so the arms, the ESCs are actually in arm, and you can see the three wires for each electronic speed controller here uh, mounted to the PDB or the bottom plate. Uh, so those would need to be desoldered uh, for the ESC and motor to be removed. In addition to that, there's two screws on the bottom for each arm that you would have to remove to completely disassemble the aircraft. Uh, and then four screws in each arm for the motors. And the electronic speed controllers themselves are in between uh, in the plastic here. Uh, and uh, we'll show that to you now. All right, with the top carbon plate removed, you can see the motor and electronic speed controller in the arm. Uh, there's some shrink tubing on the electronic speed controller. You can cut that off, desolder the three wires between the ESC and the motor, and change that as needed. Pretty easy. And again, uh, the uh, flight controller is held on with three screws, and there's a small ribbon cable connecting it to the PDB. Uh, very easy to remove. There's the video cable uh, for the video camera. And that's really it. Put some props on it and go fly after you have it back together.